Hello, my worthy apprentices. Welcome to another day. Uh, very surprised to see this trailer, Tales of the Empire. Didn't think that we'd be getting this. I was uh, under the impression that we'd get Tales of the Jedi Season 2. But Tales of the Empire came out. I have not watched the trailer yet. Um, I don't know if we're going to be getting Tales of the Jedi Season 2 as well. In tandem with Tales of the Empire, but... Guess we'll see. Um, by the way, the sale is still going on at theorysavers.com. 10% off entire site until, I think I marked it Saturday. It was supposed to be last Tuesday, but I marked it until Saturday. So use code theory10 at checkout. You guys are doing an amazing job supporting, grabbing your sabers. We're working on a lot of new stuff as well. If you haven't checked the Instagram, go check it out. I'm doing a giveaway today. You're going to be entering a giveaway today. So probably after the stream, I'll be uh, putting it up. So um, that's it. Theory Sabers on IG. All right. We're good to go here. All right. Leave a like on the stream. Let's get strolling, rolling. Let's hit it. Whoops. I got my volume on the other thing. There we go. Do you seek Imperial? Why do you seek Imperial favor? Years ago, my people were all but destroyed. My anger gives me strength. It is that strength I looks, offer the Empire. It looks real. Offer accepted. Okay, that's the best looking Thrawn version I've ever seen them do. Opportunity, Paris. Just be glad you're not a Jedi anymore. Your path is set, Morgan Elspeth. I will fulfill my destiny. Mercy only breeds defeat. But I will help you overcome this weakness. Attack! Oh, you shit, blood? I would help to change things. Finally! Everything comes at a cost. What in the world? My world has been burning since I was a child. You cannot stop. What has begun? Now you must Whoa. face one final test. Hold on. To join us. It is time you meet your new master. The Empire. Oh, shit. Okay. All right. Okay. So here's why I'm excited. I think I'll tell you why I'm excited, why I'm not excited. I think we're going to be getting um, the comic I've been talking about forever, Son of Dathomir. I think we'll be getting maybe a portion of that where Grievous goes to Dathomir destroys everyone it's possible that's what i've been waiting for for the longest time uh focusing on morgan elsbeth i don't care but she's a dathomirian and we're now going to see the fall of dathomir which happens from the son of dathomir comics as we go further into the empire um you know i'm saying that because the grievous was in there so that wouldn't really make sense if it's like only after revenge of the sith um I'm really hoping we get to see Son of Dathomir with Maul and all that. I don't personally care much about Elsbeth, but I'm looking at where she could take us with the story. Uh, Dathomir, Grievous, uh, the Night Sisters, and it seems like they're going to be wanting to give us a big backstory on the Night Sisters because of where Ahsoka Season 2 goes, so I wouldn't be surprised if we get Ahsoka Season 2 maybe next year uh, before the Mando movie. So that would probably makes sense they'll probably like i bet you they'll release it probably like fall or some crap of 2025 
and they'll probably have the trailer at like Japan or something. Uh, the next thing that I want to talk about is, of course, Barris. Barris is extremely, extremely unknown. Like, we don't know what the heck happened to her. She betrayed Ahsoka and turned to the dark side. We don't really know where she went from there. So I guess she becomes an Inquisitor. Um, she becomes loyal to Vader. But then, you know, the question remains, why wasn't she in the Kenobi show? Right? I don't know why she wasn't in the Kenobi show. Um, see what else we got. Where'd it go? What the? What the hell was that? <laughs> That's weird. Anyways, um, I would rather they have focused on Balin, Balin Skull. And Shin Hattie. I think that would have been probably much more interesting. Mm. And I'm wondering, are we going to get some episodes with Vader now that uh, we see Barris in there? Oh, you think Vader killed Barris? No. I think there's going to be a reason why she wasn't in Ahsoka. Killing her off is going to, it would be a stupid decision because she is. Like the tit for tat for Ahsoka, she is the one who will, you know, be the most insane villain uh, for Ahsoka because they have history. So uh, I'm excited, not as excited as Tales of the Jedi. I tell you that much. Uh, I was much more excited about Dooku and the fact that these are two characters that are just, mm, yeah, they're cool, but like, no, no one really gives a shit to be honest. <laughs> no one cares about Barisafi. No one cares about. Um, I can't even remember her name. Morgan Elsbeth. Uh, I I would have much rather gotten, you know, like, if we're going to go Tales of the Empire. Tarkin. Um, let's see what else. If we want to go Jedi, we could go, <laughs> well, why not Vader? Go the Inquisitor. The Grand Inquisitor. But that's the thing with these shows is you kind of get like a meld of every other character. So. I think it could tie into the end of Dathomir. That's one thing. Which is on the Clone Wars. Uh, I don't know how far they're going to take it with. Revis. Obviously she doesn't survive. Well, obviously he survives. There's no way that she mm, beats him. I gotta say, the animation is unlike anything I've ever seen. Like, give me a whole movie like this. Absolutely jack for this looks like fire. Lucasfilm, please take note of the fan reception of this trailer versus the Acolyte. Please love Ryan and Mahler, but sorry, hail Filoni, LFG. Secrets Hidden and Sam, what's up, dude? Watching the first trailer. What's up, Rossi? We needed Tales of the Sith. Yeah, that's what I was hoping for. So if they were going to do a Tales of the Sith, who would you guys have in there? One of the Inquisitors is the one Ahsoka kills. Merrick? Wasn't he just made of dust? I think Tarkin would have been cool. It, it, it bugs me that Tarkin died on the Death Star. Would have been such a good character. They just can't help themselves. The lead characters in all of Disney Star Wars must be female. Ah, I don't really look at it like that, man. I just look at it like, okay, are these very compelling characters? Are they the most interesting characters that we we could have? And to that, I say no. Uh, if they want to focus on some more characters, that would be, I would say, uh, compelling or more interesting. I mean, you know, why not... Uh, and a Balin Skull, like literally the most important, or for me, the most interesting character of the Ahsoka show. We know nothing about him. Um, rest in peace, Ray Stevenson. And, you know, I'd love to get a, a show about him, but then again, he's not really part of the Empire. So they wanted to go with the Empire, so that's fine. Uh, What's up, Pepe? 
My B day is in November and I told my wife all I wanted was a saber from you and she said that she has to save up and will get me one. Heck yeah. Oh, well, happy birthday in six months, bro. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Yeah. Um, we're working on Klarna right now. They were giving us some, some issues. Why does it keep doing this shit? It's not even a tab that's open. Oh, I guess I didn't do a thumbnail. <laughs> Oh, shit. I didn't do a thumbnail, man. Hmm. Okay, what do you guys think? Let's do a poll. Oh, why is chat not on the screen? Hold on. Why is it not populating? That's so strange. I guess I could put it here. You guys like it? I like it. I mean, the animation is next level, dude. We haven't seen any animation like this yet. Why do you seek Imperial favor? Years ago, my people were all but destroyed. My anger gives me strength. It is that strength I offer the Empire. Offer accepted. Bro, like, look at this freaking detail on the sand. That is insane. What the heck? That is so good. Dude, that's... That is... It. Good for them, man. That's amazing. It is that strength I offer the Empire. Offer accepted. Best looking version of Thrawn we've seen. I'm here to present Anthony. you with an opportunity, Paris. Oh, this one! Right! This is... Yeah, right. This is the Inquisitor. No, no. You weren't saying this is the Inquisitor from Ahsoka. I think you meant to say this is the Inquisitor from uh, Kenobi. Just be glad you're not a Jedi anymore. Your path is set, Morgan Elspeth. I will fulfill my destiny. Mercy only breeds defeat. But I well, let me see if I can recognize any of these. No, oh, not really. Cool, though. But I will help you overcome this weakness. Attack! Is this like the first time we get blood in Star Wars? Because that's pretty cool. Said the Empire would help to change things. Everything comes at a cost. My world has Is too badass. It's too cool. But yeah, dude. Give us freaking give us Grievous. Give us a Grievous backstory. It'd be awesome. It'd be awesome. It'd be awesome. You guys remember that from Super Bad? No. Uh it has been burning. Since I was a child, you cannot stop what has begun. Now you must fail. Who the heck was that? Doing like force re repulse or something? Crazy. Now you must face one final test. To join us. I like this dude. I like this dark. Your new master. Oh, it is Merrick. 
I thought he was. I thought he was Night Sister. Wait, it's both of them. What the hell? Ahsoka kills both these dudes. It's the guy that deflated, and then it's Merrick. Huh. Oh. Okay, then they're both Night Sister Magic. These guys probably aren't even real. These guys are both probably just Night Sister Magic. That's why this dude deflates, and that's why he turns into dust. Long live the Empire. It's yeah, a, a freaking badass trailer, I gotta tell you. Yeah, that's badass. You, that, like they, trailer wise, it looks like they they hired someone new, so that's good. <laughs> that's pretty sweet. Um, the dude in the mask is actually an alien. Well, no, remember when Ahsoka killed him? He like deflated. <sighs> One of them summoned straight out of demon souls. Hey, chat, can we hit the like button? We've only got 778 likes. We've got like 3,300 people in here. Let's get that ratio up. Um, I want to see a Tales of the Boba Fett. Yep. Would you like to see a Tales of the Clones in the future? I mean, I feel like the Clone Wars was Tales of the Clones. More excited for this than Acolyte. It ain't even close. Also, Thrawn's looking voice. Awesome. Of those four Inquisitors at the end, Ahsoka kills two. Is Disney afraid of the word Sith? No, because these aren't Sith. Yeah. Oh, because of the Acolyte, yeah. Bad Batch has been killing it, so I'm just happy to get new animation. Tales of the Sith. The Sixth should be Bane, Nihilus, and Treya. I hope you're doing well. Is Disney afraid of the word Sith? Keep up the great content. At this point, give us a show about Vader. That's what I'm here for, man. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm here for. All your guys' saber contributions and purchases, all the profits go right into, well, right into the products and then right into um, Vader episode two. Trailer is cool, but Morgan is wasted based on how she dies in Ahsoka. I'm happy, but I'd be more excited for Tales of the Sith. Young Palpatine, Plagueis, and even old Sith like Bane, he appears in the Clone Wars, so why not? Yeah, I, I don't even, I'm not, I don't even know why, bro. So it, they're trying to propel their own stuff that they're creating, right? So it's, you know, you got to think of it like that. They're trying to, you know, we got Ahsoka Season 2, it's all about Dathomir, it's all about the Night Sisters. Um, so they want us to know more about the Night Sisters and Morgan Elsbeth. Most interesting character? Hell no, absolutely not. I agree with you there, but you know, from a marketing standpoint, they're trying to push their own story for what's coming. And you got to think of these as like the prelude. Like, let's get everyone caught up on where these characters have been, who they are, what happened with Dathomir, and so that's that's kind of like their thought process, I think. Is that not Merrick and the Inquisitor from Tales of the Jedi? It sure is. Sure is, Master. What's up, Theory? I'm hoping to maybe see Din Djarin as a younger, a younger up and coming bounty hunter. We do see Morgan Elsbeth, after all. I, I think we're going to focus on just Empire characters. This is the scariest he's looked since 2003. Thrawn? He looks amazing. Looks so good. Bro, look at him. Looks badass. Looks really good. I just wish we got an origin story for certain characters like Tales of the Jedi, especially Grievous. Yeah, so look, if I was in charge, this is what I would have done. Like, hey, look, we need a new animated show. Okay, what are we going to do? All right, we're going to release Tales of the Sith. And we're going to release Tales of the... Hmm. Uh, Tales of the Separatists would be cool. Man, we could do Grievous. And we could do Dooku as, like, just following his story from Tales of the Jedi. That would be dope. Dooku continuation and Grievous backstory. And then Tales of the Sith would be Palpatine backstory. Hmm. 
I mean, was Balin really a Sith, though? I was going to say, like, okay, let's in, in, interject one of the new characters. And do Balin. No, you know what? Why not? Why not? Why not Bane? But then they would have to. They would have like so many angry fans because people would be like, "Oh, you've changed so much of the, of the books." Because you know they would. You're going to go to Japan Celebration 25. That's possibly when I'm hoping to release Vader. No promises, but um, so I don't know if I'll be able to make it. I'd like to, but do you think well, we'll see what happens, man? Do you think Barris will see, sense Vader is Anakin? I mean, if she's anything like Reva, yeah. Merrick was probably a real being in this, then later resurrected. It's possible. But then why resurrect? Well, yeah, maybe. Do you think Barris is going to kill Luminara? Luminara. Luminara is not in this. Luminara is her master. I'm here to present you with an opportunity, Paris. Just be glad you're not a Jedi anymore. Your path is set, Morgan Elspeth. I will fulfill my destiny. Mercy only breeds defeat. But I will help you overcome this weakness. Attack! Right. You said the. I, I can't get over the fact that they're putting blood. I think it's just so, so cool. Dragon Ball style. The Empire would help to change things. Everything comes at a cost. Dude, like, ah, bro, he looks so badass, man. I haven't seen him look like this at all, even in the Clone Wars. Oh, that's who you're talking about, not Thrawn. I haven't seen him look like this at all. He looks so menacing. Holy shit! The world has been burning. Since I was a child, you cannot stop what has begun. Now, you must face one final test to join us. It is time you meet your new master. Live the Empire. Bro, I am so happy we're getting a darker tone. Finally, for once, we're getting a very dark tone. We're getting a little bit of blood. We're getting to see more of the intricacies of the Empire, of the Sith. And yeah, let me let me be real. I don't really care much about the characters. Okay, I don't care. Like, I'm not too invested in... There's. Let me just say there's more characters I'm more invested in than, than Barriss Afi and... Morgan Elsbeth. I keep forgetting her name. <laughs> okay? But what I'm looking at, and I can hum and who about it, but what I'm looking at is where their characters are from and where they could take us and the surrounding characters around that. So, you know, Dathomir, Night Sisters, Grievous, perhaps Maul, perhaps mentions of Maul. Okay, there's that. And then there's, you know, the Mother Talzin. And then there is uh, Barris, which we could get flashbacks of the Jedi, Jedi Temple, Ahsoka, her version of the story, everything that happened with her. And then now going forwards, like what's her tale going to be? That I think I'm down for. Um, otherwise, you know, the characters, and I thought people on like surface level are just being like, oh, the characters, who gives a shit? You got to think a little bit deeper than that. Could we have gotten more interesting characters? Absolutely. Why did they choose these characters? Because they want to push their narrative of what they want with the new stories, with Ahsoka Season 2, because it's all about Dathomir, 
and the Night Sisters, and then of course Jedi Fallen Order three or whatever is going to come out. That's all about Night Sisters and Dathomir. So it, it, they're really trying to incorporate a new facet of the Force called magic, um, which we got in the Clone Wars, and we're finally getting to go deeper into it. So hey, that, that, there's that. There's that. I would have loved to see Grievous backstory. I would have loved to see a Dooku continuation. I think Dooku is probably one of the most interesting characters. Um, Vader, I, you know, I don't really want a Vader. I just, I, I, I worry what, how they would do it. Um, so, you know, leave him where he is. Uh, but, you know, maybe even like a, a, a Qui-Gon or you want a, a Balin skull, but this is, you know, bad guys. So we could go Balin after Order 66. That'd be cool. Palpatine, Plagueis, um, Bane. Revan. Let's go a little old old school style. Yoda. Oh. You know, there was a moment where Yoda had the dark side in him. And he talks about this in one of the I forgot what it was. Did he chat when he was talking to Mace or something? Or what was that? I need Ryan here. He I remember he was uh talking about how he, how he battled the dark side himself. It was beyond the Clone Wars. It was like Clone Wars he said it too, but then it was also beyond the Clone Wars. It was somewhere You'd imagine, like, 900 years old, you're going to have some dark days. <laughs> right? Luminara survived Order 66 as shown in Rebels. Oh, I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember. But, dude, my, my stuff... The stuff I'm really, really good at is the first six films, Clone Wars, and then some of the Legend stuff. And this is, ex it's exactly like how I was in school. Like, I wasn't great at every single subject. I was like a master of certain subjects. And you'd look at my report card and it's like A, A, A minus, freaking D, F, C minus. Like, it was, it, it was, it was very weird. Um, yeah, that's just uh, what I'm really interested in. I study. I don't want to say better than anybody, but because there's always someone better, but. Uh, as best as I can. Feels good to be happy as Star Wars fan hyped. What's up, Sith? Damn, I'm not telling it's bad, but animated show makes me more excited than future movies. Me too. Because of Vader personality, she will not survive. I don't think Barris is gonna die. I think they're they wouldn't make this to kill Barris. They would make this in order to give her a backstory and then give her a story that Treads into Ahsoka season two. Do you think the lightsaber Barris gets from her, the green lightsaber Barris gets is her former masters, Luminara Unduli? No. Do you think Barris is going to kill Luminara? No. Like hunt her down? I just got an update that the empty hilts might actually be ready to go. This is something a lot of people have been wanting. It's like, let me check check this. Let's see. No, we're not ready yet. On here. Oh! Oh, damn! Wait, that's. Hold on. That's not the price. Oh! Oh, yeah, dude. Empty hilts are ready to go. Yeah, you guys can now get empty hilts. Dude! Oh, my God. Dude, it was such a. <laughs> it's been. It's been. It's. Uh, it's been a nightmare. Trying to get the empty hilts. Uh, as an option to function. Oh my god, that's amazing. Yes. Yes. Hold on, let me see. Okay. Fuck, dude. Oh, man. That was... 
I'm going to message my team. Bro, I don't know how he did that in well, that's like 24 hours, but that's that's crazy. Whew. Oh, dude, it works. <laughs> yes. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes. Ah. Oh. Oh my god. Yeah, you guys wanna Luke Inspire? There you go. Empty hilt right there. 299. Empty. You just display it. Use it for cosplay. Whatever you want. There you go. Bro, that was a that was that was on my mind a lot. Cause like people were like, we want the empties. We want the empties. I'm like, I got you. Don't worry. And it's like, it's been like, it worked then it didn't work. And then we would have to like change the whole infrastructure of the site in terms of prices and everything, man. It was, it was uh, going to be a nightmare, but uh, he did it. He did it. And rest easy now. Uh, okay um anyways sorry about that he like literally just messaged me on my phone i was this is like it was like a huge thing i've been working on okay so now we can focus on klarna uh for payment plans and yeah okay all right uh we're <clears throat> back to where we were wasn't the seventh sister inquisitor the same species as barris why didn't they make her barris originally they were probably writing the backstory and they didn't have Dave probably didn't like have it down I don't know feels good to be a Star Wars fan yeah whenever they release animations it feels good what does the blade length section do now what do you mean what do you mean Blade length section. You can choose. Like you can, so you can choose if you want. Let's say you want a uh, profi. You want a 32 inch blade. Yeah, you can choose that. Let's say you want a 36 inch blade. You can choose that. So it just depends what. Uh... Okay, cool. Yeah, we're good. Damn. Okay, yeah, and then now we can also work on when you hover over. Uh, okay, cool. All right. Oof. Oh, man. It's been a lot of work, bro. For me and my team, it's been a lot of work. Hey, what's up, Timify? I hope we'll at least see a statue or bust of Palpatine. Yeah. That would be cool. What up, James? Tales of Hondo. <laughs> You're doing big things, keep it up. Oh, thanks, Sand. I'm I'm doing my best, bro. I'm trying my I'm trying to do I'm trying to do what Little Theory wanted to do when he was a kid, you know. Unless Bears dies in this, I think. We for sure see her in Ahsoka season two. Maybe she will mention being trained by Vader to Ahsoka. At the risk of asking a silly question, what's an empty hilt? Oh. Empty hilt is just empty. Means there's no electronics, there's nothing. It's just like so like uh you know how it You know how Master Replicas made empty hilts for display? I mean, Master Replicas was an officially licensed one-to-one um, -one perfection. Um, these are inspired. So, um, 
very high quality, made by TXQ. I work very, 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 very closely with them. You know, text them every day. Every day, like friends. Um, and we're working on a lot of really cool exclusive stuff. The saber that I'm releasing, the custom saber on May 4th, the custom theory saber, will be the first new board in the entire world for them. The first, uh, first one. I'm the first one to ever get it, to have it. It's an exclusive for that one, and then it'll be rolled out. But, um, yeah. So that'll be cool. So it's a very nice board, very new board. Very new, very nice, very new. <laughs> for some way. Um, do you think Barris' last test could be to kill her master to use as a trap, not only to test her compassion, but also she's willing to let Jedi be killed? Probably will be a test. They'll probably do it maybe even as like a hologram. And she'll think it's real. Just to see. If you get an empty hilt, can you put electronics from one of your other sabers in it? Yeah, if it fits. Yeah. That's the point. It's it's for people who want to display them and cosplayers. Um, as well as... Uh, some of the pros in the industry and in the saber community who are like love to make their own stuff, have better boards in there, their own boards, whatever they want. We're also rolling out a build your own section. So that's coming as well too. Always improving, man. Always adding new stuff, always adding new features, always trying to do new things. And let me tell you, if it wasn't for these sabers, I'm going to be real with you. I could not afford Vader Episode 2 and 3. No way. No way. And again, I have not taken a single dime. I have not taken a single dime from any of these sales. It's all going towards the fan film. You know, so it's... it's uh, I'd love to pocket it, but... um, No, nah, man. Look, I needed to do something in order to make that film. And uh, I can't do a crowdfunder. I can't do a GoFundMe. You know, YouTube views aren't nearly what they used to be. YouTube is not. Star Wars is not as popular as it used to be. So, you know, I decided it was the time to finally take a leap and do something I always wanted to do since I was a kid. And I'm like, well, you know, I've been putting this on the back burner for way too long because I've been afraid. And I'm like, What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> you know? <laughs> you go bankrupt. <laughs> but, um... Oh, man, you know, you, you, you dream something and you work hard and... Do your best. And uh, if you fail, at least you know you did your best. And so... Um, wouldn't be anywhere without... The few people I have working with me and very talented people. So, But enough about that. It's not what you're here for. Do you think they'll make Tales of the Bounty Hunter with... I think they'll do... So they made a Tales of the Wookiees, Tales of the Bounty Hunters, Tales of the Sith, Tales of the Jedi books. I wouldn't be surprised if they do all of those in animated form. What up, Jose? What up, Milzy? Fat Mace in chat wants a shout from you. What up, Fat Mace? Is he in the chat? Where is he? Would you want to see an animated series of Tales Season 2 of young Anakin being trained between Phantom Menace and Attack of the Clones? Yeah. Yeah. Would love a Tales of the Mando with Django Backstory. Bro! Django Backstory would be the coolest thing. Jaster Muriel? Sign me up. Sign me up. With Tor Vizsla? That guy was a jerk. That'd be cool. 
Um, things get messed up when clones don't execute order, don't execute Barris, as she's not a Jedi. And they know it, but Ahsoka was also not a Jedi officially, but Rex and the 30, 332nd. 332nd did the otherwise. How is Barris getting owned by Grand Inquisitor? What the F? Yeah, I guess they're really trying to power scale Grand Inquisitor. I don't believe it. It doesn't make sense to me. But whatever. Yes. Yeah, they make her look like a chump. She's she's from the Clone Wars, man. She's like a very powerful Jedi. I don't know. I never got the impression that the Grand Inquisitor was really all that intimidating or powerful. I got the impression that he was kind of just there. I don't think they did a very good job of uh, showing just how good he was. I want Dooku and Palpatine TV show, pre-Clone Wars. Yep, sign me up. I think we all do. She lacks conviction. Wait, she's still a youngling? She's not a youngling. Bro, she'd be like Ahsoka's age at this point. Not old Ahsoka, but after Order 66 or so, she'd be like 18. 17. Would you do a katana wrap saber? <clears throat> Bro. Right here. Ronan. It's an extremely beautiful. Pretty big saber. Beautiful saber. Oh. um, By the way, guys. I wanted to shout out. My stands. My stands! <laughs> My clones! <laughs> um, yeah, bro. These are the limited edition stands. Go check them out. Grab them. Right now it's 10% off. So you're going to be getting this at like 150-ish. Um, so, go, dude. Go. Yeah, RGB, full capabilities. There's all the product details if you need but yeah, these are uh, these are these took a while to make. Um, the photo. This is just the prototype, so the actual real one. I'll have proper photos of those probably next week. But um, we already have a slew of sales. A lot of people grabbed some of these, but they're limited. So limited to the number I can sell. No, they're actually limited. Limited to two hundred. So um, yeah, we originally were gonna do six. But we figured, okay, let's do three. Cuts the cost down for people and myself. And then three is enough for now. And then if you want to get more, we can always do a six later on. But yeah, that's this one's this one's badass. It's got the nice logo, full RGB capabilities. Plug it in. Sits on your saber. Sit on, any saber pretty much can sit on this. And then you know, I got the biggest three biggest ones in there. So Malgus, Ronan. Dark ruler. My clones. Hey, Theory, when do y'all expect Sabres to on bot on launch day to ship out? There were a, a very high number of orders, so we are currently putting everything together and it's going to ship out tomorrow. Some will start to ship out tomorrow and then next week. All of them will ship out next week. And you get them in the new boxes. I don't know if you saw the Instagram post, but you get them in the new boxes. New boxes, Saber, sta saber Sash, um, Protective Saber Sash. Two free stickers, uh, collectible box, and everything else is custom made on there, custom pamphlet. If you guys also, I know a lot of people haven't seen this, but if you guys want to know more about like how to program your saber we have we have videos on like everything about like you want to learn about the boards and we welcome to theory sabers today yeah. we're going to go over the snv4 pixel for end and your one step on the higher end like 
videos up the wazoo, dude. Yeah. You want to learn how to program your stuff? Like program your actual profi board? We have a full What's free video on, on that. Welcome back to Theory Sabers. Today we're going to go an overview on how to add premium fonts to your profi saber. So right here I have the chassis and we have the profi board here. We have the SD card right under and we have the battery. So how I like to do when so adding a new font is Carter goes into great depth and uh, in like a 15 minute video, he'll teach you how to program your fonts. And um, yeah, so any problems you guys have, you know, our customer support is always there for you. And uh, you want to learn about anything, we got videos about everything. So, How to adjust it for a longer blade. So you see here that your blade is not ignited all the way. That means that it's set for a shorter blade. So anyways. Um, yeah, the, the support page is something we worked on really, really hard to make sure it's like, not just like, hey, if you got a problem, email us. No, we wanted to answer everything right there. So, anyways. Um, have you seen Star Wars horror game called Death Troopers? It looks pretty good. Yeah, that's a fan-made game. Waiting for the build your own feature. I've always wanted to design my own saber. The website's awesome. Saving the Star Wars community as usual. Yeah, we got that coming, Jared. We got that coming. We're working on that right now. What if Legends Barris warns Canon? Barris breaks, disrupts timeline like Spider Man 2009. Matt Warren's Miles breaking Canon. I, I wouldn't want that. I have a problem with the world between worlds because it just breaks Canon and it's of itself. So it's, it, <clears throat> that's the issue. Very funny, Rossi. Very funny. What's your favorite non-main character blade on the site? Uh, I can't go wrong with Ronan. I don't want to talk too much about, like, I feel like I've talked enough about the favor. So, you know, got questions I can answer them, but I kind of want to keep it too. Tales of the Empire now. I don't want to, I don't want to, it's tough, bro. Like, you know, no one else is going to promote your products but you. But also there's a fine line of like not, you know, overdoing it. But at the end of the day, if you don't, no one's going to know about it because no one else is going to do it. So it's like, it is what it is. Theory Talks tonight? Um, I'd certainly like to. Yeah, I, I think tonight could be the night we could get back to it. Um, things are starting to get pretty flowing, pretty mainstream, pretty, pretty good now without me having to do too, too much anymore. Still a lot, but uh, we, we might be able to do that tonight, if not tomorrow night. You have a favorite book series. You know what? I just bought all of the uh, New Jedi Order books. Those should be in the mail in the next week. And uh, the ones that arrived yesterday were... Um... Oh, I'm forgetting the name again. I sent the picture to Ryan. Check this out. All these, man. Hmm. So I'm going to go ahead and read every single one. So that'd be cool. Legacy of the Force. Legacy of Force and New Jedi Order. I miss the theory talk sesh. Yeah, I miss it too, man. I've I've been I've been so busy, I've been so overworked. It's uh it's incredible. Hey, if we're not working, you know, what are we doing in life? Relax. <laughs> what Star Wars book should I start with? I would start with Plagueis. Grievous being retconned pisses me off so bad. How is he being retconned? I 
don't think he's being retconned. You look tired, get some rest, come back. No. No, I'm good, man. I am reinvigorated. I, every every day is a, a beautiful day. It's a blessing. It's a blessing to be alive. And if I'm not doing my best every single day, then, uh, you know, I'm taking my life for granted. So I want to make sure every single day is a, a day that I am giving it my all, you know, to you guys and to, um, to myself, to myself as well. About to head into the gym, take it easy. Watching the new Bad Batch episode when I get home. Good luck as usual, man. Thanks, man. Have a good gym session. Yeah, no, I'm going to hit the gym later tonight. And then maybe we'll do a theory talks. We'll see what happens. So much overreacting from just a trailer. Are people overreact? Are people mad? The trailer shows Grievous from that time point. Shouldn't he be dead already? Um. No. I mean, obviously not. How's your eye doing? Mm, same. Same. It is what it is. Uh, I go in next week for another exam. Be careful not to burn out. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> listen. I thank you for that. I've been doing Star Wars theory for eight years, almost, and the first two years, literally, like, almost death, literally, like, exhaustion, death, not sleeping, um, yeah, look, I, I, there's no burnout. There's no burnout. There's no time to burn out. There's so many people in the world that are going through actual very difficult things. So for me to, to say, oh, I'm burning out. What, why, could I sit at a computer and work? No. No. Don't whine, just get it done. Oh, my life is hard. I've been given a huge privilege. Uh, and uh, I'm not going to take that for granted. But, you know, you guys have given me a career. So I'm going to work my absolute hardest to give you guys the best content I can. Vader Episode 2, Vader Episode 3. Um, animations, videos, sabers. Just, you know, keep going. Always keep going. Comic book that I want to make. I think too many people have it easy. They complain too much. Um, what's up, Ashton? What's up, Anton? What's up, Theory? I have mixed feelings about the M Tales of the Empire Season 2. They could have really outdone Season 1, but they come out with this C-list cast. Yeah, I don't disagree. I don't disagree. But you know what? My thing is that I like to look at whatever they give us and try to take the best from that. Unless it's something that completely retcons original ideas that George had or whatever it might be, then I'm pissed. But until then, you know, this could take us into a direction of, you know, Dathomir and the Empire and Vader and, and hey, that, I'm, I'm down for that. That's cool. Have you read the Republic Commando books? No. I read some of the first one. So many years ago that I can't even remember. I can't. I can't even say like, "Oh yeah, I read it." I'm not gonna, you know. If I can't, can't remember something, did it really happen? Uh, side note: Will you sell more stickers separately? Oh yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there's two stickers come with every saber for free.
Bro finally confirmed Barris with a seven sister. Uh, we don't know yet. <sighs> oh, thanks, Bricks. Nice of you. Could get a scene of Asajj fighting Vader. Uh, it wouldn't end well. You think Ahsoka will kill Barriss? Yeah. Yeah. But I would like to see them do some sort of a... um, Like a team-up. Against a, an even bigger villain. I think that, to me, is... That's more fun. Is this the first time we're seeing blood in Star Wars Animated? I think so. Have you read Revenge of the Sith novel and thoughts? Oh, it's amazing. I interviewed the author, Matthew Stover, who also wrote um, Shatterpoint. You want to see two universes clash? Warhammer 40k and Star Wars? No, that makes no sense. I love how they actually give us something we want, but it's only 10 to 15 minute episodes. Yeah. I know, like, why? They should just make more Clone Wars seasons. You know, with those characters and have to be in the Clone Wars, can be after. Hmm. <sighs> Ooh. <laughs> if Tales of the Empire is even 75% of Tales of the Jedi, it's going to be a certified hood classic. Show us more Palpatine, but talk about his fighting style. So Palpatine didn't care about using a lightsaber, but he mastered all seven forms. <laughs> Can you imagine being that much of a badass? That you you're like you're like what what are these light like why would I use a lightsaber? I would use the force. But you know what? I'm just gonna master every single form, not just one, but every single form just to troll. Like I He's just so cool. Can you live stream the gym session tonight? Hmm. No. Maybe. I don't think so, though. Tron Origin meets Anakin. Come on, easy money. She found out who Vader is, and he dealt with it. Yeah, but that doesn't make sense, because Reva now knows. This is so stupid. It's like Reva knows, and she's alive. Do you still have a Discord? The link is broken for me. Yeah, I have it. Yeah. You said the Empire would help to change things. Everything comes at a cost. My world has been burning since I was a child. You can when you drop in the Acolyte merch. Oh, dude, I have some merch that's coming out that will rival any merch that I've made before. What in the world? Jesus. Yeah, coming out for May 4th. <laughs> uh... Not stop what has begun. Now you must face.
race one final test. Hey, should we do the giveaway right now? Okay, everyone that wants a free saber, you want to enter the free saber, go to Theory Sabers on Instagram right now. We're going to do this live. All right, let's see. Which one should I choose? Maybe we could do it. Or we could even do it saber of your choice. Yeah, let's do this live. All right, hold on. Okay, which saber do you want me to give away? Hey, this is the end of the breakdown anyways, the end of the reaction, so let's just have some fun. Which saber? All right, let's do this live. Go to uh, Theory Sabers on Instagram, and uh, we're going to do it right now. Tales of the Joby Herald. Yeah, there's no tail there. No tail there. The fat May Saber. I'm actually in talks to make that. Amethyst Shin Batty. What's up, Mike? I got a plan to super chat for the final episode of season three Bad Batch. Well, thank you. That's very nice of you. Fat May Saber is just a foot long sub. Yeah. May Saber is a foot long sub. Okay, hold on. Let me, uh, Mm. All right. Just preparing the post.
Almost done. Front door open. Okay. Almost done. <sighs> All right. It's up. It is up. All right, yeah, what's up? Go enter. That's it. Uh, yeah, there's the post right there. So the rules are the person with... Why is it in you know, such a weird form? Strange. Oh, I see. Uh, yeah, so the person with zero likes on their comment wins. So this obviously gets people to comment more, uh, which drives engagement. And then also it's pretty fun because then I have to look through all the comments. And uh, whoever has no comment, no like on their comment uh, is the winner. So good luck. Winner will be announced. Oh, I didn't even put an end date. Well, we'll do that later. Winner will be announced, what's today, Friday? Let's do the end of the sale, so Saturday. We'll announce a winner on Saturday. Front door open. Yeah, that thing drives me nuts. I, I gotta change that. Drives me crazy. <laughs> but yeah, you, you savor of your choice, whatever you want. Um, I will just, like, DM you here. Oh, by the way, there's some scammer piece of crap that keeps going around trying to scam, uh, pretending to be me, and it's not me. Sometimes they use pretty large accounts, so they'll use an account that they bought from someone, my, is my theory. And then they'll uh, change the name to Theory Savers or Star Wars Theory and pretend to be me, but it's not me. So, anyways, to enter, all you got to do is follow Theory Savers, like this post. Go comment on it, and uh, the comment with zero likes wins. That's it. That simple. And I'll choose someone on Saturday. So, good luck. What else are we doing here? Everyone in there liking everyone's comment, bro. And everyone's... <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> No likes required. This is the way. Bro, I'm just going to start liking everyone's comments. <laughs> so no one wins. <laughs> uh, I'm rigging the system myself. No, wait. I can't do this. I have to do it from... Oh, no. Yeah, no. I'm on Star Wars Theory right now. Ha ha. <laughs> Bro, I just go in there. start liking your comments. Like, you win. Oh, wait. Someone liked it. It was me. I'm just kidding. All right. I'll stop doing that. But yeah, the last one on Saturday that I look, I'm just going to scroll. And then the first comment that I find has zero likes is the winner. I should probably put that it, this is, ends on Saturday. Mm. 
What day is Saturday? The 6th. Or let's do, let's do, uh, do Saturday, Sunday. Let's do Sunday because people still have the sale. Do we do Saturday or Sunday? What do you want? Okay, let's let's do it end of Saturday, so it would be technically Sunday on the sixth, uh, on the seventh, midnight of the seventh. Pacific time. Cool. Sweet. Bro, the uh, I gotta turn off my notifications. I haven't turned off my notifications for uh, yo, is Luminaro and Dooley in the trailer? Jordan, I'm just seeing your message. Hey. Ah, her face got green screened. Damn it. There we go. Is that actually Luminara? Oh, I gotta watch it. Attack! You said the Empire would help to change things. Everything comes at a cost. My world has been burning since I was a child. You cannot stop what has begun. Now you must face one final test. To join us. Yeah. It is time you meet your new master. I think I skipped it. With an opportunity, Paris. Just be glad you're not a. My world has been burning. Since I was a child, you cannot stop what has begun. Oh, sh yeah, yep, that. Is it, bro? I don't think that. Mm. Where are her tattoos? Oh, yeah, I guess they're there. Hey, yeah, dude, that's Luminaro and Dooley. Is it actually? Wow. Oh, crazy, so that's her test. Her test is to kill her master. Oh. I wonder if she succeeds. Wait, but that's not Barris. That's the other chick. Hmm. Who's that in the background? Is that Barris? Well, let me take this away. Is that Barris over there? Hmm. What do you guys think? They had her locked up.
You ain't gonna find a single comment on there without a like, broski. I will. I will. That's how those giveaways work, man. Eventually someone is gonna someone's gonna win. We'll just do more of those. More and more and more. They're fun. <laughs> bro, someone bro, someone's big brain. Damn it. I said if you like this, you hate theory. Two people liked it. Someone said, you guys are getting creative. If you like this, you're contractually obligated to only watch the Star Wars Christmas special original one forever, every day for the rest of your life. Bro already got five likes. <laughs> Damn. I'm going to go in there and just like some of them. Bro, everyone's just getting like bombed like crazy. That's hilarious. I've never done one of these where I'm where uh, I make you guys like everything. That's hilarious. <laughs> Dude, you guys are so creative. Caleb puts a dot, gets eight likes. <laughs> That's funny, bro. Damn. That's funny. Um, if you like this, you sit when you pee, bro. Some dude, like some people, don't care. They're, they just they just want to win that free saber. They're just gonna like everything. Theory is cruel. Hey man, gotta do something to drive up the uh the engagement man giving away a 500 plus dollar saver well it depends what you want maybe some dude maybe someone wants like we have a we have some sabers on there that are like uh 99 bucks i was trying to be extremely extremely competitive actually with the sale yeah bro okay so okay that i actually might have to change that because that's i think <laughs> Anyways, the Alien Saber, there's a few of them. The Alien Saber, if you use code theory 10, you'll get 10% off of this as well. So you're getting a Saber that's nine, was that 90 bucks? But I mean, keep in mind, it's, it's RGB, that's RGB. So if you want to go a little higher than that, SNV4, it'll be 169. So I'm not going to play you. But if you want empty, you know, you can go, that'll be an $80 empty hilt, 80 something. Was that 80? <clears throat> yeah, like 85 bucks. But yeah, hey, RGB is great, man. RGB is a great entryway into your savers. Um, yeah. And you can choose different colors, whatever you want. But this one's cool. I like this one. I named it Alien because it just looks like an alien's finger. Alien. But yeah, it's a great one. Cheap. Very cheap for what it does. Uh, some of the savers, I'm just like, you know what? I don't want to make money. <laughs> I just, just, I just want to offer something for everybody so that you guys can have it. If I can make like five bucks or something, ten bucks, that'd be cool. That's fine. Just pays for the cost of everything, I guess. Everyone working. Not really, but not really. Uh, can you do your Palpatine voice? Sure, yeah, what do you want me to say? Digit Saber, yeah, pretty much. I hope they have the funds to buy every single one. Oh, geez, I wish. What happened to the giveaway on the what if video? That's being sent out. I'll buy a fat version of the Maze Saber. Have you started picking out ambassadors for the Theory Savers company? Yeah. Yeah, we have about 15 so far. 
So we'll be shipping them out next week, which means they'll be getting them mid-April. Would Qui-Gon have left Anakin and taken Shmi if the dice were red? It doesn't matter because he used the Force. Does the visible crystal light up? Yep. Yeah. It does. So like, uh... This one, for example. Beautiful saber. Absolutely beautiful. Crystal lights up to whatever color you want. This is a weathered one. I remember I bought one of these. When I reviewed one, I think... How many years ago was it? Let's try to see. Um, yeah, here. So I remember I viewed, and, and, and here's a little bit of backstory, man. I've spent thousands and thousands of dollars on other people's sabers. And definitely, you know, I've seen the competition. I've seen the, uh, the market out there for um, what they're offering and all that stuff. And uh, this was a real cool one, I remember doing. This was done March 13th. Oh my God. Like almost, yeah, it's like three years ago. Three years ago in a month, almost, not even. That's funny. My old room. Who would I buy this one from? It's Corbinth? Yeah, yeah. Bro. <laughs> I was such a kid. I would buy these sabers. I would buy them with my own money. And then I and then they'd be like, hey, can you put our link in the description? I'm like, yeah, sure, bro. Like I don't charge anything. I don't I was just I was just so uh green. I didn't Yeah. Yeah. Well. Blow. Living to learn. But um yeah, Cor I like Corbin. I, I if if I were to I think that was my that was definitely my favorite. Um, Saber Company, Corbin. They make good stuff. And I should probably be talking about my own stuff, but you know what? I don't give a shit. If you want to support me, you support me. We got cool stuff too. Uh, Corbin is also a great company. They make good sabers. Really want that damaged Malgus? Oh, dude, that is the sickest. Freaking saber, bro. It is so cool. And now, you can get the empty hilt version. If you so wish. Yeah, yeah it's a big saber, man. Just look how big this is. I'll show you. It's huge. Huge dude. The Dark Saber is a pretty big saber, like it's heavy. Uh the dark dark ruler saber, and then this is the um this one's like the tallest. Looks pretty cool. Ronin's also very big, but it needs to have a big handle. <laughs> Glad you're getting NJO. Sad you didn't ask Stover about Traitor when you interviewed him. 
it's on par with Revenge of the Sith. Hope you enjoy. Well, we can have him back on someday. She found out who Vader is and he dealt with it. Thrawn Origin meets Anakin. Come on, easy money. Please twerk for us. Yeah, I don't, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Bro sent it twice. Two super chats. What the hell? Who cares about this story of Thrawn and Morgan when it leads to the horrible Ahsoka show? Yeah, that's one way of looking at it. But, y you know, it's like, if you haven't seen the theme, it's like they do something and then they go back in time and try to, like, make a better story. And also, animation has never missed. Really never missed. So, RGB is the best for dueling. No LED in the blade means you can whack. Theory, keep an eye out for the book from my last Super Chat. It's a real winner. So, I actually went to the forest. I haven't edited the video yet. I went to the forest and I beat the literal shit out of my NeoPixel blade. And I filmed it. Um... That thing is, everyone says that they're delicate. That thing is so durable that it, 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 yeah, I mean, you guys, you guys are going to see in the video, but I literally, I went to like a massive ass tree and just started just, and it was fine. So everyone says you can't duel with them. It's like, well, they're not as fragile as you think, but yeah, RGB is the best for dueling. Screw these fake Star Wars shows. Everybody should check out Everest Productions, who's adapting EU content on YouTube. Can't wait for more Plagueis. Yeah, he, he, like, yeah, he does, does, does a good job. He just needs to be careful because he's taking stuff from uh, the audiobook, and that's copyright. So he's got to be careful with it. If he does it, he can't monetize it. So he just needs to be aware because I want him to keep making them because they're great. But yeah, I reacted to it a few days ago. I don't know if you saw. What's your personal favorite saber on the site? Malgus, Dark Ruler saber. Uh, Annie three can't go wrong. Annie two, um, count. Light version. We have the we have the TOTJ version now. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Dude, so nice. So nice. Such nice detail. Your swords, please. And you can get the empty now, too. Unbelievably, like, so unique. So unique, dude. I like it much more than this version, personally. I like it much more. Uh, this is gold on there. Uh, brushed finish. It's it's not chrome. A um, little bit different on the hand placements with everything, but the grips are, feel a little bit different. You don't have this annoying-ass piece here, uh, which gets in the way. Um, just overall, I, I think it's much more elegant. You can kind of see like what was changed later on, but I think it's so much better. And you know, RGB for RGB is there. And, and keep in mind when you guys go to order Theory Ten right now, take advantage of that sale, dude. It's gonna end in a few days. Anyways. Will you read the book New Living Force? Yeah. I have a plan to read like every Legends book that I can get my hands on. Because there's a bunch I have not read. And I want to be educated. And cool stories. Yo Theory, sorry for the weird comments. That was my stepsister. She got a hold of my phone. Also, you started filming Invader Episode 3 yet? No, we're doing 2 right now. The thing with 2 is that we're building all the assets from the ground. So everything is, uh, everything is ours like mine. So we're doing everything from scratch, and uh, then episode three will be done much quicker because everything's already made. Hope they don't mess up General Grievous. It's animated. They're not going to mess it up. 
what's one animated show that they've messed up? I can name a million of the live action. I can't name any animated ones. The blue saber Jedi looks like Quinlan Voss. No, bro. Finally, Reva's story. Oh, God. Could you imagine, bro? Finally, the story you've all been waiting for. And every fan's like, oh, my God, yes, give us young Palpatine. <laughs> We're finally going to go into the backstory of this extremely popular character. Do 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 ominous music. Do, do, do. This summer, May fourth, coming to Disney Plus. Get ready for. Reva, an all-new original series coming to you, <laughs> to your TV, the Reva story. <laughs> soon, I am in the background, soon I will have a new apprentice, one far younger and more powerful. Reva! She doesn't die. Bro, I, that fans would be like just... So excited. So excited. Did that Reva Saber ever go through? Presale? Oh, what? It still hasn't gone through, bro. I mean, that that's... Bro, why would Hasbro need to fund... The, why would they even do a Kickstarter for their own sabers? Like, they got so much money. <laughs> Just do it. Just make it 5000 I'm pretty sure I'm going to go out on a limb. These are not that expensive to make. Judging by the quality I've seen from the Hasbro ones. Some of them are pretty nice. Not going to lie. Like their Black Series helmets, very nice. But their sabers, I don't know, bro. I think they could do better. I really think they could. Theories in competition? No, nothing will ever compete with officially licensed ever. Right? Bro, if they brought Master Replicas back, I mean, I wish. I wish. No one ever made quality as good as Master Replicas. Those guys were unbeatable. The best. Number one. Always will be. Always will be. Make a custom Inquisitor hilt for Theory Sabers. Yeah, let me tell you, the Inquisitor hilts are very expensive to make. Extremely expensive. So, um, yeah, you know. I mean, there are some really rich collectors. I mean, like, yeah, there, yeah. So there, there are some people who would shell out for that, but, uh. God, they're, they're, those are expensive because they're just so there's just so much material there's so much metal and and it's it's curved so it's more expensive to make um then you got to figure out the housing for the components and the electronics to go into the curved hill it's just yeah, it's a lot yeah you down we talked to txq about it
if Disney kept making good content ever since The Force Awakens and kept making good content, you would be at like 10 million subs by now. But like Star Wars isn't popular anymore. No, I know it's not. I think 2026 will be a big surge for sure. But yeah, it's been rough, bro. Like I remember the first five, four to five years of the channel, man. It was like people were just so excited about Star Wars. And then now it's just not. Not nearly the same. You can make them limited edition. Yeah, they're just very expensive to make. I don't have that capital right now to be, you know, dropping like whatever it would be. Like a hundred grand on, you know, those extreme. Those, those, those sabers are expensive, bro. The, the Inquisitor sabers. They're pricey. And if not like a shit quality one, I want to make a good quality. I don't have, yeah, I don't, that, all my money is going to Vader 2. And if it wasn't for the Saber sales, project wouldn't be happening. Like, I, I couldn't afford it. Uh, not in these times. Hell no. So. Will of the Force, man, everything came together. Everything came together. And then as soon as we finish episode two, we're going to start immediately on episode three. And we'll uh, bring this thing home. Aren't the Inquisitor Sabers the same, or are some of them unique? Some of them are unique, bro. And I want, I want to create one that, like, you can grab in the middle and, like, spins. and <laughs> That's tough, bro. It's a lot of electronics. Because then there's a price from factory, too, right? It's not like, you know, they got to make money, too. I think they should include Terran Malikos because of the connection. Ooh, that'd be cool. We want, who wants to bet that Morgan beats Grievous and that Barris overpowers Vader? No way. No way. They wouldn't be so thick-headed. No way. Just got the Starkiller Saber and excited for it to come in. Nice, dude. Which one? Which one do you get? And for those who haven't seen... These are just some of the orders from launch. So every single saber comes with this, comes with a custom collector's box that I've designed. Um, everything is custom made. So the box, the saber sash, which your saber will be in, in the box, and then a custom made toolkit, a custom pamphlet for the guide. If you don't want to go on the actual support guide here, some people don't, you know, some people do, um, but you know, we don't want to cut any corners. So there's a custom uh, um, guide instruction booklet that comes with it. Uh, you get two free stickers and then some random orders will be getting free t-shirts as well. So, and then yeah, we're working on Klarna again. Instead of crowdfunding a Reva Saber, they should crowdfund Reva character development. <laughs> <laughs> Everest Production put a new vid up to, did they? No way. Um No, they didn't. Where? Oh, this. Star Wars Labyrinth of Evil. Anakin's meeting with... Oh, what? That's not what I want, Master. 
Maybe Qui-Gon should have left you in Watto's junkyard. General Skywalker. Hyperwave ammo for you. From the office of the Supreme Chancellor. Congratulations, Anakin, on your victory at Kato Namoidia. Thank you, sir. I'm sorry to report the Viceroy Gunray escaped, and that fighting continues in the Rock Arch cities. Yes, I was informed as much. <sighs> Bro, these are awesome! What the hell? These are so cool! What's wrong, my boy? I sense that you're troubled about something. If it involves Gunray, accept my word that he won't be able to hide from us forever. None of them will. One day, you'll have your chance for complete victory. It's not about Gunray, sir. Just a small incident here that made me angry. What incident? Nothing important, but I always feel guilty when I become angry. That's a mistake. Anger is natural, Anakin. I thought we'd been through all this regarding what took place on Tatooine. Obi-Wan doesn't show anger. Except, of course, at me. And even then, it's more like... aggravation. Anakin, you're a passionate young man. That's what separates you from your Jedi comrades. Unlike Obi-Wan and the others, you weren't raised in the temple, where younglings are taught to conquer their anger by transcending it. You enjoyed a natural childhood. You can dream. You have imagination and vision. You're not some unthinking machine. Some heartless piece of technology. Not yet. Not that I'm suggesting that the Jedi are. But for someone like you, any threat to someone or something important to you is likely to evoke an emotional response. It happened with your mother. It will happen again. But you shouldn't fight those responses. Learn from them. But don't fight them. Well... Do you think I'm immune to anger? I've never seen you angry. Well, perhaps I've grown adept at reserving my anger for private moments. But it grows more difficult to do so in the face of the frustrations I face with the Senate. With the way this war persists. Oh, I know that you and the other Jedi are doing everything you can. But the Jedi Council and I don't always see eye to eye on how this war should be waged. You know my love for the Republic knows no bounds. That's why I'm struggling so hard to keep it from falling to pieces. The Senate should simply follow your lead. Instead, they block you. They tie your hands. It's as if they envy the power they gave you. Yes, my boy. Many do. But many support me as well. More oh. important, we must abide by the rules and regulations. Oh, that's why I'm drooling. Dude, this... Broken. I'm like wondering, I'm like, why... Like, is something wrong with me? Like, of the Constitution, or else we are no better than those who stand in the way of freedom. Some individuals should be above the rules. A case can be made for it, and indeed, you are one of those people, Anakin. But you must know when to act, and when not to. I understand. I How is Coruscant, understand. sir? Coruscant is, as ever, a shining example of what life could be. But I'm far too busy to indulge in its manifest pleasures. I guess you've been meeting frequently with the Loyalist Committee? As a matter of fact, I have. A treasured group of senators who value the highest standards of the Republic as much as you and I do. Senator Amidala, for example. This is so cool, dude. Yo, Everest, man, if you ever want me to do voices for something, I'd love to. I'd, I'd, I, I would love to take this and 
do my own voices on it if that's possible. Just for fun. I have permission. So filled with vigor and compassion. The same quality she brought to her term as Queen of Naboo. She causes a stir wherever she goes. I'm so glad that you and she have become dear friends. Will you tell her? Will you tell her hello from me? Of course I will, Anakin. I will somehow see to it that you return from the Outer Rim soon. But we cannot rest until those responsible for this war have been held accountable for their crimes and eliminated. And says, why don't the mouths move? It's very expensive to do moving mouths. And it takes so much time. So much time, bro. Uh, so, you know, this... I do. This is great. I love this. It's a fit to lasting peace. Do you understand? I'll do my part, sir. Yes, my boy. I know you will. Hmm. Mm, so well done. It was great. Or why would someone dislike this? Like, stop being a hater. Awesome. Holy shit. 165k right on, dude. That's great. That's dope. Wait, what is this? What? <laughs> I never saw this. The Rise of Skywalker v revitalized full fan movie. What is this? Is this like a original script or? Rain. Oh, whoa! What the hell? On my. Dude, we might have to do a watch party for that, dude. That's pretty cool. Everest Productions, man. If you want to work together, let me know, bro. There are no dislikes. You are seeing upvotes from down under Australia. What time are you seeing Phantom Menace in Tampa? My son and I would love to meet you. I'm not sure yet, man. I haven't booked my trip. Um, to be real with you guys, I'm having probably the biggest sale of the whole year uh, on May, May 4th. So I don't... I'm, I'm sure I can do everything from my phone. But I, I, I want to make sure I'm... I don't know. It's tough. It's tough. I want to be very present. But if I'm traveling, I know I'm going to be like just having fun and like... Hanging out with my friends, and so I'm, uh, I'm, I'm debating, debating. Just in case anything like goes wrong with orders, and people want me to, you know, like fix something or whatever, I want to be available. But uh, I think, uh, I think I should go, and I think I should go and have fun. Seeing you, know, I got my team that can help handle anything if anything goes wrong and you know so I, I think it'll be right we'll see what happens i can always book the trip you know day of or or you know day before i love seeing when theory supports other channel of course why wouldn't i that's the thing is like i'm not i want everyone to succeed man everyone's always so stingy and like no one wants me to succeed. Like, haters, like, hate it when I succeed. Or it's like, I want everyone to succeed. I want everyone to have a big Star Wars channel. I want ever, everyone to do well with whatever they want. Um, There's no skin off my back, man. That's a very Sith way of thinking if you don't want someone to succeed. It has nothing to do with you. You know how many successful people are there are out there? Bad people, good people. It has no impact on me. And so I just got to focus on my path and go forwards and do my thing. That's the Qui-Gon way. Someone said, do you have the Satil shavers? <laughs> shavers. <laughs> now introducing shavers. Yeah, we got the Satil. As a single and double. So, also as an empty. If you wanted. Beautiful saber, dude. Really beautiful.
really nice etching. And then we got the full as well if you guys wanted. Wookie support trees. Yeah. Did you guys see Jeff? Our, our Wookie? For Vader episode 2? The Jeff! When the Jeff! He looks so good, man. He's so cuddly. Looks like my dog. Yeah, that'd be cool. Da -da 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 -da. Everyone's super stingy. Yeah, bro. Everyone's very stingy. No one like I don't know. It's 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 this whole psychological thing I try and get into, but whatever. And like, you know, the funny thing is I remember when I was up and coming with the channel with theory with, with Star Wars Theory. Um, there were a lot of people that were nice to my face and just so fake behind my back. They were like, fuck him. Like, why is he getting so big? Like, why is he getting all these views? He's clickbaiting. It's like, bro, what the? <laughs> you were just so nice to me a minute ago. Um, it was wild. It was a wild time, bro. Like, that's, you know, it's weird. But, um... My philosophy always was like the more successful Star Wars channels there are out there, the more successful we'll all be because it just feeds off of each other. It's like, you know, if let's say, you know, so I was killing it back in the day with Vader uh, videos, Vader and Anakin. So I drove the SEO for Vader and Anakin videos like skyrocketed up. Uh, and so then other people started to do Vader and Anakin videos and their videos would start to skyrocket up because of mine that I would create. And, and they would have like, you know, like maybe 500 subscribers. They'd have like no subscribers really, but their videos would go high because of my traffic that I would drive in for that keyword. Um, and the same would, can be said, you know, vice versa with someone else. Let's say someone makes a, a video about Quinlan Voss. And it does really well. Uh, if I did a video about Quinlan Voss, I didn't understand this until about a year ago. If I did a video about Quinlan Voss after that, all right. I saw a. I remember when Logan Paul did the uh, the forest thing. Um, you know the self delete forest video. Uh, there was another YouTuber I saw. They made a video about Luke self deleting a theory about him self deleting right after that. And there, so they were capitalizing on the fact that. Uh, that was a keyword that was going around on YouTube. Uh, very shitty thing to do, in my opinion. But, uh, you know, from a business standpoint, I can see why they would do that. Um, but that's a bit of the intel on, on how I think, you know, the more Star Wars channels there are out there, I think the better we all do. So it's it's not like a me, me, me kind of thing. It's like, a, let's, everyone. Everyone can do their best. Everyone, everyone should be successful. Everyone's got to be um, doing their thing. I never got the notification for the stream. What the F? Also, good news. What good news? Yeah. Yeah, no. I, YouTube hasn't been sending out notifications for a lot of the videos. Weird. It's been this like this for a year, but that's okay. Onwards we go. You guys will see it on the back end of YouTube, I suppose, when you sign in. That's cool. Can you make a community post a few hours before starting a watch party? Or more evergreen videos? Or more Everest videos? Yeah, sure. Yeah, okay, I'll start doing that. But, you know, also, make sure you guys are following me on social media. I'm very active on Instagram. Very, very active in Instagram. So make sure you follow me on there, both on Theory Sabers and Star Wars Theory. I am super active on there. Twitter, eh, not so much. A little bit sometimes here and there. But uh, yeah, Instagram, I am like every day answering you guys, commenting, posting. You know, when I go live and this, I didn't do that for this one, I guess. But Too late now. Um, yeah. 
dee 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 dee. I think you guys glitched the comments because I it's there's, I think there's so many comments that I it's not even loading yet. <laughs> Holy crap! Two thousand thirty-five comments, dude. What the heck, dude? My uh, look what it shows on Instagram from my phone. Two hundred ninety-three. That's crazy. That's like not even an hour. How long is that? 49 minutes ago. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, wait. I want to enter my own giveaway. Um, Oh, wait, yo, yo, no, wait, hold on. You will check today's new video. <laughs> Re-advertising, why not? Um, yeah, bro, I want to contact Everest. I think he commented on my thing. He commented on the stream the other day, didn't he? Oh, yeah. Oh, what? <laughs> uh... Bro, like, God, people just not fight. Anyways, if you haven't seen Darth Plagueis, the Darth, of, the death of Tenebris, amazing, amazing fan film. He did a great job. He did a great many things. Do you try a R-rated Vader movie? Well, my fan film is not going to be R-rated, but it is going to be pretty dark. Wait, he's in the chat? Oh, Everest! I'd love for you to watch both my sequel trilogy movies. It took me a full year to make that movie. Bro, can, uh, let's work together. I really would love to work together. So if you want me to do any voices, I want to do some of that. Um, if I can pay you to do some stuff for the channel, so that we could do some projects together, that would be cool. Um, do you have an email? Or an Instagram? What's up, Dovahkeen11? Do creators get YouTube premium for free or is YouTube so greedy you have to pay? I pay for it. It's a business, man. I get it. You know, YouTube also takes 30% of Super Chats and then if you pay, if you do a Super Chat on your phone, 30% goes to Apple and then 30% goes to YouTube. So it's like something like that. It's like 30% of the 30, it, it's, I don't know. But it's crazy. Um, that's the one thing I think YouTube needs to fix is they're taking way too much of Super Chats. That's not, that's not okay. Way too much. Do it like maybe like 15%, like, all right. But then also like Apple Pay taking, uh, no, come on. You're taking it from creators, man. It's not good. Too much. Too much. It is what it is. But yeah, look, I mean, YouTube has like huge costs, so. Huge costs. What's a bumblebee? Front door open. He was rambling again that he missed Everest's response. Oh, did he? Did he respond? Where? 
No, he didn't. Oh, I'd love... <laughs> I'd love for you to watch both. No, I, I read this. What do you mean? Bro, you're rambling. You didn't even read... Listen to what I said. Theory for the giveaway. Is it any saber of, of theory sabers or just certain ones? It's any saber you want. Any saber you want, bro. I passed it? Where? No, I didn't. Oh, you are Discord? I usually DM on that. Yeah, I'm on Discord. What is my Discord? Like 4245 or something. Yeah, theory four two four five. Well, what's yours? Because I don't get notifications, so I won't even see it. My apprentice. I'd have to add you. Is it on, is it on your thing? Oh, they changed the... Where's the about? The boot. Ugh. Oh, why do they make it so difficult to find? Mm. Keep changing stuff. What the hell is this? standards of the Republic as much as you and I do. Senator Amidala, for example. So filled with vigor... Would you ever do a Revan Saber collection deal? ...and compassion. The same quality she brought to her term as Queen of Naboo. She causes a stir wherever she goes. I'm so glad that you and she have become dear friends. Well, like some of you haven't even gone the... Do you mean like a, a deal as in both? Oh, like you want both. Like a deal for both. Oh. Um. Yeah. I could do that. I'd have to crunch numbers. Uh, do you want to hit me up? If you want to get both, hit me up. I can do that after the stream. I'll give you a uh, a special discount code that would apply to those two. Because it would take me time to like make. I'd have to like Photoshop photos, put them together, as, and then make a new listing as a combo deal. Um, I could always do that too, but um, yeah, I could do that tonight. Uh, May fourth, we're gonna have combo deals. Yeah, we're going to have episode one combo deals. It's going to be badass. It's going to be very badass. Yeah. Yeah, if you guys want the empty of this, it's also available. Remember, I was talking to Nick Gillard, man. This was one of the most beautiful, it's just simple and beautiful. It's just something about this one. It's just elegant, beautiful. Uh, I'm supposed to be meeting Nick in the summer sometime. Will you tell her? Will you tell her hello from me? Of course I will, Anakin. I will somehow see to it that you return from the Outer Rim soon. But 
we cannot rest until those responsible for this war have been held accountable for their crime. You send sabers to Europe, yeah, man. And eliminated as a threat to lasting peace. Do you understand? I'll do my part, sir. Yes, my boy. I know you will. He sent his Discord in the chat. Yo, top shelf. Just give you mod status, bro. Not that you care. Um. Yeah, Von Rum, let me know, man. He has a higher cholesterol. <laughs> a higher cholesterol count. Um. How many comments right now? Ooh, we're almost at 19, bro. Can we hit 20k today, you think? I think we're going to hit 20k. <gasps> we're at 19. Dude, I want to hit that 20. 2,250 comments. Hell yeah. Let's go. Let's go. This is going to be like over 10,000 by the time Sunday rolls around. Um, Did Everest put his info in? I am You ever go to Arizona? Never been. Do you think they'll retcon Dark Disciple with the Bad Batch? No. What's up, Bandicoop? Thanks, bro. I'm really curious what the fat mace saber will look like. We're working on it. I just gave fat mace a pizza. He just gulped the whole thing down. Yeah. Bro, Mace loves pizza Slurpees. You saw the hidden face in the Anakin vs. Obi-Wan. I keep forgetting to react to that. I haven't actually gone in there and, like, checked it out. Should we do it right now? Copyrighted. Or there was a right here or something, right? Where was it? And he like jumps. He like jumps. I have failed you, Anakin. I have failed you. Should have known the Jedi were plotting to take over. Anakin, Judge of Palpatine is evil. My point is the Jedi. <laughs> they are lost. He should have just been like, bro, like, he tried to kill Padme. Like, I mean, I don't know why you're not seeing this. So simple. He'd be like, well, wait, Obi-Wan, you're right. Yes. He did try to kill her. I think I've been confused this entire time. Uh, where? Where is it? No, oh, hold on. Uh, gonna check out my boy Star Wars Sith I know he did a reel for it a while ago 
Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna find it. He posts like crazy. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, no. Ah, there we go. Got it. I think I found a guy who used a portal to watch Battle of the Heroes live. I'm gonna try to stop it in time. It's right when Anakin jumps. Let's try to catch this. It's right when he jumps. There we go. One, yeah, it was right when he jumped. Three. Oh, right before he jumps. Oh. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna go frame by frame. What the? Is that him? I don't see it. That it no. This wait this that wait, why don't I see it? Damn so close. Let me try to get it again. Alright, here we go. We're gonna get this shit. There we go. Motherfucker, got you, motherfucker. What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no way, What's man. this guy doing? This is pretty some freaky shit. Dude's kind of creepy too. Because the video is bad quality. Maybe this one. No, this is part one. I need part two. There we go. We're gonna be somewhere around here. Uh. Okay, maybe here. Okay. Oh, what the hell? What the f What? Dude, do you like see him too? Why? Who is that? Bro, I bet you. I bet you the like one of the CGI guys probably like inserted his ass in there. What the hell, dude? Need to find the story behind the lore behind this. Oh, you know what, dude? Well, let me ask you. Know, I'm gonna. I'm gonna ask Nick Gillard right now. I'm gonna ask Nick Gillard right now. Hey, mate. All right, look. 
There's a thing going around that when Annie jumps, who is this guy? Why? Who is that? Is it the stunt guy behind him? And they, they didn't clip him out. What in the world? It's a right when he jumps. He's like, this is the end for you, my master. And then he he's about to go. And then he, uh, there's a guy. There's a dude. Right there. And then if I go on my friend's Instagram, he finds him. What's uh, up, guys? He finds him right there, too. He's, um. I just sent that to Nick. Do what he says. Or he's gonna, he's gonna be like. He'll, ha if anyone has an answer, it's him. That's crazy. That's really weird. It's probably just a stunt guy, bro. He like didn't. Maybe someone was sleepy when they were putting everything together, and they uh. I know it took twenty, it took nineteen years for this to be found. The lore, bro. Yeah, it's crazy. How did anyone even spot that in the first place? Bro, Star Wars Sith. I, I, I think, I don't know if he was the original one. I but, think I uh, found a guy who used a portal to watch Battle of the Heroes live. I'm going to try to stop it in time. It's right when Anakin jumps. Let's try to catch this. It's right when he jumps. Here we go. One, two, three. Damn, so close. Yeah, you yeah, know, Nick's asleep right now. He'll answer right, in the morning. Or tonight, aka tonight. We're going to get this shit. I just got to pause it on this moment because it's be better quality on uh, Star Wars Sith's screen. There we go. Motherfucker, got you, motherfucker. That's <laughs> fucking creepy, dude. <laughs> Damn. Damn, it's creepy as hell. I'm gonna send that right now. We're gonna get behind the, We're gonna get the story behind this, guys. Don't worry. Bro, wouldn't it be funny if Nick's like, I don't know what the hell. It's weird. But he would know who it is because he was the stunt coordinator and director. So, I'm gonna like my own comment. Yeah, that's crazy. Peep in the chosen cheeks. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? <laughs> the force goes to Qui Gon Jin. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to do. Uh, well, I'll I'll make a video once Nick replies. I'll make a video. That's crazy. How many views did this reel get? 851k. That's nuts. I feel like that should be like 40 million. That's funny, dude. Stuntman backstory. It's actually a good idea. Um, does he have any any uh, behind the scenes of this? He would have to. He'd have to show me like a behind the scenes or something of. Uh, yeah, bro. Like a. Uh, Yeah. Everyone go to Gillard Stunts. Make sure you subscribe. Nick Gillard's actual channel. Would you ever do oh we ever read that one? Alright guys. Um I'm gonna get to the bottom of this and then we'll figure it out. We'll probably do a live stream later sometime tonight or something like that, but Hey, go take advantage of the sale going on right now on theorysavers.com. Check out Theory10 at, uh, at checkout for 
10% off everything, your entire order. So, you know, on some of the prices of these savers, that's a substantial amount. Or if you want to go even, you know, savers that are like under a hundred bucks, you can do that. So, yeah, it applies to everything. And then uh, make sure you enter the giveaway as well on Theory Savers Instagram. So wish you guys best of luck. Uh, Theory Talks. Yeah, we'll probably do Theory Talks tonight, bro. I'll probably have some time. Love you guys. I hope you have a great evening. Enjoyed the... Um... I hope they make Tales of the Bounty Hunter one day. Django would be cool. Django and, Bo and, and Mando would be cool. We'll see that. Maybe even a Saj, because she becomes a bounty hunter. That'd be cool, too. Anyways, love you guys. Catch you later. Have a great day.